ವರ್ಣಿಂಚಲೇನು ಸಿಲುವನು ವಿವರಿಂಚಲೇನು ನೀ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವರ್ಣಿಂಚಲೇನು ಸಿಲುವನು ವಿವರಿಂಚಲೇನು ನೀ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಾ ಜೀವಿತ ಮಾರೆನು ಚಲೇನು ಸಿಲುವನು ವಿವರಿಂಚಲೇನು ನೀ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವರ್ಣಿಂಚಲೇನು ಸಿಲುವನು ವಿವರಿಂಚಲೇನು ನೀ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ದ ಸೀಸನ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೆಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ 40 days on the cross in this miracle mentality devotions where we are going to reflect the love which Christ has showed upon us the sacrifice which he has done on the cross for you and me so this is the time we can come more close to our dear lord who has purchased us with his precious blood which he shed upon the calvary so i just wanted to begin with this this particular chapter especially luke chapter 23 verses 33 to 47 luke chapter 23 verses 33 to 47 i just wanted to read for you today morning when they came to the place called the skull they crucified him there along with the criminals one of his right and other on his left jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and they divided up his cloth by casting lots the people stood watching and rulers even sneered at him they said he saved others let him say himself if he is god's messiah the chosen one the soldiers also came up and mocked him they offered him wine vinegar and said if you are the king of the jews save yourself there was a written notice above him which read this is the king of the jews one of the criminals who hung there hurled insult at him aren't you the messiah save yourself and us but the other criminal rebuked him don't you fear god he said since you are under the same sentence we are punished justly for we are getting what our deeds deserve but this man has done nothing wrong then he said jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom jesus answered him Truly I tell you today you will be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. Most of you must be knowing about the book called Pilgrim Progress written by John Bunyan. He explains there at the foot of the cross our burdens are rolled away. So when we come at the foot of the cross we can see that our burdens which we carry the 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 luggage the backpack of our sin our burdens our problems are rolling away at the foot of the cross there we find forgiveness for our sins where we find everything which we needed in our lives in in other words we find life is at the foot of the cross so this 40 days devotion called back to calvary i just wanted to title this devotion as back to calvary as we meditate on the cross it is always good to go back to calvary and reflect the love of christ the sacrifice which he has done for us on the cross so when we look into jesus life there were many places that plays or that played a vital role in our lord's ministry for example 
there was bethlehem there was bethany nazareth jerusalem samaria judah and hillside and shores of the sea of galilee so so many places played a vital role or it was a part and parcel of jesus's ministry when he was on the earth and also the synagogues in the villages and and the great temple jerusalem played an another vital role in his life so uh, all these things shows that he was stepping along the path to the place called calvary so every step jesus took to his earthly life was leading him to the place the greek called topos krenion or the hebrew called that place as golgotha and the romans called as calvary so it is known as in english we come to know it is known as the place of the skull when you read all throughout the gospels we know that jesus mentioned always about his destiny for example matthew chapter 16 21 17 22 23 uh, matthew 26 to all those things we he, he says that my destiny is towards calvary so even when we read john chapter 1837 we read like this to this end was i born and for this cause came i into the world so this was a place where jesus suffered unbearable torment and suffering just now we read in luke chapter 22 verse 33 explains like this were they crucified him so he suffered unbelievable torment on the cross and also this was a place of unspeakable tragedy it is not easy the tragedy is in the uh, the culmination of the tragedy which he experienced on the cross for you and me they they mocked him they teased him whatever they could do to a human being to the maximum he has done on the cross there not only that we know that the father himself turned his face from his son the fa- painful experience he did not deserve this kind of treatment even the even the um, the thief on the cross he mentioned that yet so that's the reason we can say this was the place the calvary was the place of unspeakable tragedy and when we look in another thing is this was the place also unequal to triumph there was a triumph over the on the cross jesus conquered everything he destroyed the powers of the devil he conquered and he triumphed so this is the place of suffering this was the place of suffering this was the place of tragedy at the same time this was the place of the final triumph that's what jesus told it is finished because of all this triumph he made us today as a victorious people he made us as a priest and kings he made us as more than conquerors he made us as an overcomers hallelujah so we received salvation there on the cross the work which god jesus has done on the cross so as we meditate all these 40 days back to calvary we will travel through jesus journey to the cross and who we are in him and what he has done for us so today morning let us thank him let us praise his holy name by knowing that he has done everything on the cross he has taken my shame my death my suffering everything he he has nailed my sickness on the cross my shame he has nailed on the cross so today i can stand tall i am called as the daughter of the king of king i am called the son of the king of king today i have an identity Today I have a label that is the daughter, son, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. All these things because of the Calvary, because of, the, because of Jesus and his cross, what he has done on the cross. So today morning, take few minutes and let us thank him, Jesus. 
help me to come more closer to you this this season help me to understand your love the supreme love which you have showed on the cross for me lord help me lord come more closer to you and also we know that the rapture is very near because we hear all the news of the wars and many things the natural calamities happening in this world so this is the time prepare ourselves to come more closer to lord at the same time prepare ourselves waiting for the rapture hallelujah shall we pray father we thank you and we praise you lord lord we want to thank you and we want to say that lord help us lord help us lord to come more closer to you lord thank you jesus for doing everything on the calvary for me doing everything on the calvary for us lord thank you for your love thank you for the freedom which you have given to us lord. thank you for the freedom which you have given thank you for choosing us thank you for separating us thank you for buying us back thank you for giving us the name called daughter and son lord, lord this morning we just wanted to say thank you lord thousand times are not enough to say thank you lord but still lord from the bottom of our hearts we wanted to say we thank you we love you jesus you take all the glory and the honor lord all the glory and the honor lord because it belongs to you lord let you increase in our lives lord so that we may decrease we thank you and we praise you in jesus mighty name we pray Amen amen so let's come back and meditate on the topic called back to calvary so see you tomorrow